Now, as a complete contrast to the front-end development, we have back-end development. Now, back-end development um, uh, is concerns itself more with how the, the back-end works, so how the server works and all the technologies that the server uses. So, for instance, PHP, Python, Ruby, all of those kind of things. So they would be also interested in um, the frameworks of those technologies, so Symfony, Laravel, Cake, PHP, Django, uh, Ruby on Rails, all of those um, lovely frameworks that the server technologies use. Front, a back-end developer would also be interested in how the back-end uh, uh, the servers actually work. So they would have a little bit of knowledge in, say, uh, Nginx or Apache. They would also have a bit of knowledge in um, in the database as well. They won't be fully fledged uh, DBAs, which is a, like a database administrator. So they won't they won't be. Um, I suppose in the same line as a front end developer, it isn't a fully fledged graphics designer. A back end developer is traditionally not a fully fledged um, database developer. Um, but they would have an appreciation of how the data hangs together, how the data is, is modeled, um, how the data uh, is validated, the integrity of that data. Um, but they wouldn't necessarily know all the skills needed to, say, tweak the database to get the best possible uh, performance uh, juice out of it. Um, and then, and so I suppose that brings us neatly on to the database um, developers.